Hello and welcome to or welcome back to my channel. My name is Tiffany and today I have a haul for you. Um, so I bought a few things in April. Um, so my low buy is um, not going very well. But I did buy, um, I think most of these except for one, two things. These are all replacement items. Uh, so things that in my past empties videos I have told you that I am going to repurchase because they are staples in my routine and um, the one extra thing I got so that I could get you know more freebies so let's go ahead and get started in my last empties video you saw that I used up the tree hut shave oil so I picked up two more just to get myself stocked for the summer uh, and they had some limited edition scents so of course I grabbed them uh, this one is watermelon, and I'm really excited to use this one if I can get it to focus here. This is the, is that upside down? Or, yeah, this is the watermelon, and it smells so good. Oh, it smells like liquefied Jolly Ranchers, and I'm really excited to use this. Watermelon is a really super fun scent, and I'm going to be, I am excited to use this for summer. I don't know why I'm having trouble with words. The other scent that I got is this Tropic Glow, um, and this is kind of like a coconutty tropical, oh yeah, definitely like, um, it reminds me of the Boom Boom Cream by Sol de Janeiro, and it is wonderful. So I really like that, and I also picked up to go along with it the Tropic Glow Firming Sugar Scrub. Again, in my last video, I had finished up the candy cane and that was my last sugar scrub. So I picked up another one in this Tropic Glow and I'm so glad I did. Um, yeah, it smells just like the Sol de Janeiro and a fraction of the cost is one of my favorite scents. So I'm really excited to have these and use these for the summertime. The other things that I picked up that are replacement items are the e.l.f. lip exfoliators and um, yeah, I picked up the cherry and I picked up the brown sugar. I absolutely love these. I have the Sonia Kashuk brush, lip exfoliating brush, but it just it does not cut it. These are amazing and I love these. So I went ahead and I bought two so that I could have one and always have one. The extra item that I bought is this Alice Brooklyn Salt perfume mini spray. Um, it is the only one of the very few that didn't come in the um, the little sampler library that I had purchased uh, for my birthday for myself. And I really wanted to try this one for summer because I have a lot of um, fruity fragrances and a lot of, um, a lot of, you know, flowery, sweet fragrances, but I wanted something that was kind of summery. And this one is really beautiful. It's nice and sweet and soft and just really, really nice. So I can't wait to wear this one for the summer. Excited to add that to my collection. That was the item that I picked up so that I could get this. This is a sampler pack um, that came with it and I made that all to order weeks ago and I honestly don't even remember what's in this. So let's go ahead and open it together. Um, I picked the purple bag. I think there was like a peachy coral one too. I don't remember. Um, so first we have this which is, oh, okay, a Curl Smith set. Um, I'm not sure if I'll be able to use this. Is this for like curly? Yes, this is not for me. So I do have a friend I can give this to, so that'll be nice to pass along. There's also, ooh, a full size of the Freeman Exfoliating Gentle Mask and Scrub. I've used this before and I love it, so um, I will be able to use this or give it to uh, my partner to use it. I love having a good scrub either for my face or my body, so that would be really nice too. Next, so I just finished one of these up back in March and I said I wasn't going to repurchase it, but I got another one and it's just okay, so maybe that'll give me a, another opportunity to retry and see if maybe I have better luck this go around. Uh, next I have a Derma E Vitamin C Moisturizer and Serum Packet. I do know that I like those products, so those will be nice. Um, okay, and the Perfect Repair Shampoo by uh, Tokyo uh, Nature Lab Tokyo. I love those. I have those in my shower already. Um, a NA114 Super Correcting Vitamin C Serum Thingy SPF. Sleep, wait a minute, 
Reef Safe SPF Sleep. I, I desperately need sleep. Okay, so it's a vitamin C, vitamin C, super C SPF, vitamin C moisturizer with broad spectrum. I need sleep is what I need. So that'll be nice to try out. Um, next, I have a Kate Hudson and Juice Beauty Revitalizing Acacia Rose Powder Mask. I do not like rose, so I will probably put this in my giveaway box because I just don't like rose. Uh, Glam Glow Super Mud Foil Packet. Love that. Uh, Indie Lee Brightening Cleanser. I've not tried anything from Indie Lee, so that will be fun to go through. What else? We have a Grown Alchemist Hydro Repair Day Cream. Okay, I got a tube of this uh, in last month's haul, so maybe I'll try that little packet first before I puncture the seal on the other one. Living Proof Curl Defining Gel. Again, another thing not for me, clearly. Um, let's see. Kylie Skin uh, Makeup Melting Cleanser. Never tried anything from Kylie Skin. Could always use a makeup melter. Uh, next, a Purology Hydrate Shampoo. There's probably a conditioner in there too somewhere, but I'm trying not to look. Oh, I think I feel it. Yep, and there's a conditioner. So shampoo and conditioner. I can use both of those. Next, uh, Angel Nova Perfume. I love these perfume samples. So that'll be nice. Uh, okay, I pulled two. Michael Kors Wanderlust, which I already know that I like okay. Um, it Confidence in a Cream Foil Packets. Okay, um, Airborean Skin Hero, Hero Bare Skin Perfector. I think I have a sample of that in another thing as well. <sighs> Sleeping Beauty. How did they know? Two vitamin capsules. Are these just melatonin? No. It says it's magnesium and the Sleeping Beauty blend. Valerian Root, L-theanine, Organic Lemon Balm, Passion Flower, uh, and melatonin. Okay, so just an herbal supplement. Uh, the Body Shop Shea Butter. Always nice to have a lotion. Uh, Marc Jacobs Perfect, which is perfect because I finished my sample of this today. Ha ha ha. Oh, okay, so this is a full-size lip gloss, and this is by Ulta Beauty. It's just a shiny sheer lip gloss. It's very pretty. I'll use that. That's pretty. What else do we have? Clinique All About Clean Cleansing Balm. Yep, rinse off foaming cleanser. Next, another Maybelline Sky High. Um, Soap and Glory Body Butter. So many foils. Good Molecules Rose Water Daily Cleansing Gel. I'm giving that away. What else? Okay, Fresh Rose Deep Hydration Toner. Also going. Purity Cleanser. Not my favorite, but I have a friend who will enjoy that. Um a big sample card that is half useless and that's everything let me clean these up and I'll show you the last couple of things that I purchased this month okay one thing that I did not purchase but I did bring in this month is the benefit their real extreme precision liner I got this free from influencer I also got a um, a philosophy night serum and a YSL um, why oh the toilet for my partner so i got a couple of things but um they won't be part of they're not really officially part of the haul um the next thing that i got uh is my allure beauty box for april i actually got this like again mid-month maybe right before after that ulta haul and i don't remember what's in it but um i was gonna do an unboxing like i did for last month but you didn't really seem to enjoy that so much so i thought i'd just include it in my haul um, there is an Amika Perk Up Dry Shampoo Mini, um, which I really like. I've used a sample of that before. An Ulta, Elta MD UV Sheer Broad Spectrum Moisturizer, and this is just a one fluid ounce. I've heard good things about this brand, so I'm excited to try it out. Um, there is a Neogen Labs um, Real Ferment Micro Essence. Um, I've used the Neogen Labs Foaming Facial Cleansers and the... Um, micro peel pads before and I really love those. I love those a lot. Um, I got the OC Hydrating Essence Oil, one ounce. I've never used this product before or this brand before, so that'll be interesting. I got a the Beauty Crop Melon Jelly Dewy Primer XXL. I've never heard of this brand before, so and it's you know it's a it's a jelly. <laughs> it looks like a jelly. Um, so that'll be interesting. I got a Juve, 
Uve, Uve, Uve. Again, another brand I've never heard of before. Just a beauty sponge. And um, this last thing is a liquid glow. Um, let me open it real quick. It's a liquid glow, a liquid highlighter, um, but I believe that it's a gold shade, so I won't use it. It's by Saint Lux, and I, I believe it's a gold shade, so I probably, yeah, well, it's a rose gold. So, I mean, it's pretty, but um, I don't know, maybe I'll get bold and I'll do some body glow this summer. I don't know. Um, I've, I've done that before, just kind of done a shimmery um, liquid highlighter in a body lotion, and so maybe I'll do that. I don't know. So all of those things were in my Allure body my Allure Beauty box for April. If you did enjoy uh, seeing my unboxings of that last month and want to see more just strict unboxings of those, let me know in the comments down below or over on Instagram so that I know what content you like to see. Um, I don't know how many people are still getting beauty boxes these days. That's really my only thing. Um, so, and a lot of these are brands that I've never heard of before. Um, so I'm interesting, interested to try some of these out, um, especially again, this Elta MD. I've, I've heard great things about this. Um, I know that I like this, uh, and I know that I like the Neogen, but, um, the other three things I've never used before. And the last thing that I purchased was a makeup brush mystery box. I am... A big fan of makeup brushes. I have, you can see some of my, oh, I forgot to turn my globe on. I've got some of my um, fantasy fairy brushes up there, and then some of my lip and eyeliner brushes here, and then <laughs> behind you I have four jars full of brushes, five jars full of brushes, but I bought more. So uh, I had been wanting to try Spectrum brushes for a long time, and I bought the Minnie Mouse Jet Setter set from Ulta. Now, the Jet Setter set on Ulta's website only contains these six brushes and the, um, and the case. If you go to Spectrum's website, their set has eight brushes in a case, but it's like a lot more expensive. I don't remember the price, but it's a lot more expensive. So these mini haha small brushes are actually really nice brushes and i thought well you know i don't love the small handles on the brushes to do everyday makeup um these will be really great for traveling if i'm low on space um which i, I rarely am but you never know uh but i still use these brushes anyway because this is a really nice um really nice foundation brush i've really enjoyed using uh this nice soft curve on my face. It's it's beautiful. Anyway, I wanted to try more and they were offering a mystery box featuring a set that I had been looking to buy anyway. So um, I went ahead and I bought it. This is the Cosmos mystery box. Uh, I've already done an unboxing live on my Instagram and my TikTok. Um, so you know, you can go watch that there, but it did come with 17, mine came with 17 brushes, this cute little malachite, it's called the malachite set, it's got a big and a small sponge, they're nice and squishy and soft, and um, I haven't used these yet on my face, but they feel like they'll be really comfortable to use, so I got three between that and the box three beauty sponges. It also came with a, a couple of their makeup products. It came with their Dark Star Mascara, and I believe this is a full size, which I haven't tried yet, um, and I don't wanna open it quite yet. I think I might open it up and try it out this month, but I've been trying to get through again some of my minis, so I don't know. I might just hold off on that one for a minute. It also came with this uh, Glowful, Glowful hydrating and illuminating mist and you can see it's got a little BB in the bottom and I don't know if you can see the the shimmer that's collected but you have to shake it up before you can before you use it to spread some of that shimmer stuff around um and the mister on it seems nice I believe this is well yeah it's a mini um so I mean that's nice I guess uh I got a bunch of brushes in there again you can go watch my unboxing video I got two of the Ursula brushes, which I'm super excited about because I love it. And um, they're just beautiful brushes, nice and soft. Uh, the only brush that I really took issue with is actually, where is it? It's this one. This is the um, A24. It has a spoolie on one end and eyeliner or brow on the other. 
And I don't know if you'll be able to see here or not, if I could get it to um, really focus in for you. You might be able to see right here at the very end towards my wrist, there's a couple of hairs that are sticking up um, and they're just really uneven. So I'm going to have to trim this, uh, trim this brush up. It's also much bigger and wider than my typical uh, eyebrow brush that I use for my brows. As you can see, hopefully if I get it to focus, um, you can see that it is quite a bit wider than my, my, I think this is my Morphe brush. Yes, my Morphe brush. So it's a little bit wider and um, not as sharp and fine as my Morphe brush is, but after I trim it, hopefully it should be better. Um, I got a three-piece jade set which looks like this. And this one is very similar to the Minnie Mouse brush. These are all really soft, beautiful synthetic brushes. Um, I don't use the flat brushes much for my makeup, but I have them. Uh, it was a really good value for all of the brushes and I'm really thrilled with my purchase on that. Again, you can go watch my unboxing on TikTok, um, but I had purchased, just a second. I had purchased this whole set because of the, um, because it did feature the Cosmos brush set. And I just love, I love these like iridescent type ferrules. And I love the little purple and hollow stars on the brushes. They're just so pretty. And, um, yeah, the brushes themselves feel just as soft as the Minnie Mouse brush set. Um, they perform just as well. They're nice and soft and blendable uh, with eyeshadow. Um, these small ones are great for, you know, smaller areas and more compact places. This one is a great concealer brush. Um, and these are fabulous powder brushes. So yeah, that's everything that I picked up in the month of April. Uh, no, it's not. I'm kidding. Um, I did purchase one more thing, but it probably won't get here until the end of May, middle to end of May. I ordered the Dragon Fruit Collection by Cleonad Cosmetics. Hopefully I'll have a picture here for you. So I'm expecting that this month. And um, I purchased the whole set minus the nail lacquers because... I just, they weren't, weren't my jam. And, um, I have plenty of other nail polishes that are similar to those two colors, but I have been wanting to try Cleonade for a long time now. And I figured that this was a really great value bundle and all of the pieces look super beautiful. And I'm so excited to share those with you. Let me know down in the comments below. Also, if you'd like to see me do a dedicated video on that, I know a bunch of people, especially smaller indie uh, tubers have done videos on the collection already, but um, I'm excited to do it too. So I think I just might anyway, but that's it. I, um, I know I picked up a little bit more than I said I was going to, but again, I kind of for keep forgetting that I have this Allure subscription and I've already paid for May's this month. So that and the Clio Nod are probably the only things that are going to be coming in for me this month because again, I am still really, really trying to do my low buy situation. Um, I also have my mini May project going on and I'll be able to put a lot of those little new foil packets and samples into my mini May project. Um, so yeah, look forward to that. So that is everything for me today. Um, I hope you enjoyed this little haul video. Um, yeah, I think that's everything. If you want to follow me for more content, you can follow me at tiffany.hamblin on Instagram for my daily makeup content. You can also follow me uh, at tiffany.hamblin on TikTok for my Ariel Silks uh, fitness journey and my required influencer posts and other shenanigans. And so, yeah, thank you so much for spending some of your very valuable time with me today. I truly appreciate it. Until next time, stay safe and take care.